Welcome back everyone for another Figma tutorial. Today we will be showing you how to import your Adobe XD files into Figma. Previously, we created a video using a plugin called Convertify in Figma, which converts XD files to Figma. But that can only get you so far as there are only 10 free converts, and after that you have to pay for it. As you know, many views claim that you can copy and paste an artboard from XD to Figma. It doesn't work that way. If you try, you will end up with a flattened image, and that's not what you want. Instead of resorting to copy and paste or using a plugin, we will directly copy the SVG code. That's right, copy the SVG code, and it works great. First things first, let's start by opening a new file in both Figma and then pop open the XD file you'll be looking to transfer over. To make life easier, we will use an XD file from Unblast with a link in the description. We also look at other applications that allow copying the SVG code to Figma, but it will be a different video. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on those videos too. In Adobe XD, simply select the artboards, right click, and click on copy SVG code. Then hop over to Figma and paste using the keyboard shortcuts Command V for Mac or Control V for PC. A font dialog box might appear due to missing fonts as I'm using XD files from someone else. So you can either replace the fonts or upload those fonts too. And that's all it is. As you can see in the layers, Figma creates a new frame, which can be quickly renamed by double clicking on the frame's name to a frame name that is relevant to you. Now let's say you have a bunch of artboards. Okay, we can select the artboards as seen in the artboards panel or manually select the artboards in XD. After right clicking to select copy the SVG code, what occurs when you return to Figma when you paste it? A couple of things could happen. One, the artboards may overlap each other when we paste them. Or the artboards may be copied and placed into one frame. A workaround could involve also select the clip path group and move it out of the frame too. Unfortunately, you'll still need to prototype the file in Figma, but that's the fun part anyway, in my opinion. There you have you've just successfully transferred an Adobe XD file to Figma for free. While it may take a bit of time to fix it properly and recreate the interactions from a prototype, better than rebuilding from scratch. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on more handy tips and tricks.